And we are live from Wonderfest. Hello, everybody. It's Jamie from round two. Let me take my mask off. How is everyone today? It's, it's noisy in here. It's the usual ruckus. People are starting to break down, so it's a little bit noisier than usual. But uh, we've got a little bit of a lull in the show, and now's the perfect time to share with you guys out in the rest of the world wasn't able, that weren't able to make it, uh, show you some of the things that uh, we're showing here at the show. So uh, if you've never been to Winterfest, this is a quick look around the room. And sorry for my handheld camera man abilities. Just going to do a quick pan, do the best I can. If you've been here before, you know what it's all about. Anyway, we're here at the round two booth. Chris is here helping me out as usual. Let's get the cord wrapped, unwrapped around the, the stand there. So, uh, guys, uh, let me know how we're coming through. Uh, we don't have, I don't have earbuds, so I don't know how the, the, the audio quality is. Uh, if uh, someone can just give us a heads up that we're doing all right, if we need an adjustment, just let me know uh, in the comments, and we'll kind of keep an eye on that. But uh, you've probably heard some of the announcements that we've made, and uh, we're just going to give you a quick uh, kind of more up-close and personal look at a few things. Hopefully, we'll be able to answer some questions live if anyone's got them. So uh, here we go. So... Here's a look at our setup. So we've got a uh, kind of a different setup than we've had in the past where uh, usually we've got uh, shelves and things uh, up behind us and we're out in front. But this year we went a little bit more, uh, took a little bit more caution, put a little bit more space between us and the rest of the crowd. And so we've got a uh, table set up kind of in a V shape. And right out in front is uh, one of the kits that we've, Really gotten lots and lots of requests for, and that's the USS Grissom in 1350 scale. Uh, just take a quick look at that. So this is the mock-up, guys, and uh, we'll, we're targeting bringing this out by the end of the year. Uh, this the CAD work on the on the ship was done by Charles Adams. Uh, he did an excellent job on it, and. Uh, in our rush, we forgot to bring the, the proper base, so we've just had to kind of display it out here on the table. Uh, I'll pick it up and give you a little pan, pan around it. There you go. So, it's a little bit tricky here, but here's kind of a look at the underneath. It is a mock-up. It is just kind of held together by magic at this point. So if it crumbles in my hands, have no fear. We'll be all right. We'll, we'll glue it back in shape later. Uh, excellent greebly detail. The length of the piece is, how long did we say it was? 13 and a, 13 and a half inches long. Uh, well, it'll come with plenty of clear parts. Uh, there we go. It'll come... Uh, let's get into focus. We'll come with uh, clear parts so we can light it. We'll probably offer a light kit. Seems like it'd be uh, popular consensus here at the show that people will want to light it for sure. So we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, sitting right next to it, we've got the Hawk in uh, 48 scale. Of course, we've gotten plenty of requests for this as well. So we'll pan around. It's got its little brother sitting right next to it, the 72nd scale hawk we brought out a few years ago. We have made a few uh, changes in the, the overall shapes of the model, uh, especially in the head. We, uh, we found that uh, the head that we uh, sculpted before wasn't quite accurate. And of course, the filming miniature is really kind of twisted. So uh, we kind of a little bit more work just to give it a little bit more of the the real flair that the uh the head had and uh, i'll give you some top views and it'll be a little bit more apparent what we've done
So the hole you see there in the bottom of the ship will be is there obviously the uh, the base support hole, and we'll uh, include a cap for that for anybody that doesn't want to put the the metal rod underneath it. So there is a look at the hawk. Uh, of course, soon we've got coming out the uh, thousand scale uh, Voyager. So we've got the, that over here by the Grissom. I think it's just a matter of a short in my cable, probably. So we'll just do the best I can. And, uh, of course, uh, you guys want to see this stuff. You don't want to listen to me, so we'll get the important stuff done.
To walk to the other end of the table to go to over the Star Wars stuff. Let's take it. Someone has some banana fries like this. Somebody uh, that's about the Enterprise light kit. So, yeah, the build up we show on the table does have the light kit installed. Comes with uh, all the lights you need to light the whole ship, including the motors to turn the, the Bussard collectors. Hope that answers your question. So, we'll progress down here to the Star Wars stuff. We've got the Haunted Mansion, I'm sorry, Haunted Manor kit. And we've got the first look at uh, what we've got going with the Darth Vader TIE Fighter. Uh, the gray parts you see on the buildup are all uh, upgraded parts. Uh, we'll go back and look at the Comlock uh, just again in just a few minutes. Um, so the gray parts are the new parts we're introducing. So we get a new top hatch more accurate uh, wing hubs we're doing a new bottom hatch and then the cap you see in the center there covers the hole for the base and then uh, we're revising uh, some of the details that were on the bottom of the ship uh, to get rid of the landing gear that was on it previously so then we've got our buildup of the x-wing uh, this is the small snap kit along with the small uh, snap uh, B-Wing. Uh, these are introduced for entry-level modelers, uh, but uh, they do uh, present well uh, when handled correctly with uh, some good uh, paint jobs and weathering and that kind of thing. Here's a look at the package to expect. It's got an old-school look to it with a new X-Wing illustration on there. We've got... The Ad at Walker. So this is another kit that was already pretty cool. It's a good quality kit, and uh, we're going to articulate all four of the legs this time. And we've added further range of articulation within within the legs, both in the hips and in the knees. So the knees will bend to a, almost a ninety degree angle. Uh, then we've got uh, Boba Fett Starfighter. Uh, yes, they they have renamed the ship. Uh, that was not our choice, but that's what we're going to call it now. Uh, so that's just a straight reissue of the, the Boba Fett uh, Starfighter. And then we've got uh, the Millennium Falcon reissue uh, that we'll be updating. We'll be doing the shorter sidewalls, so we'll get that corrected for you. And we're also doing a smaller radar dish and adding some vent details to the engine parts. Uh, so those are all the upgrades to the, the old uh, MPC and AMT uh, Millennium Falcon kit. And then, of course, our big reveal for the show. We had hoped we'd be able to show a mock-up, but it just didn't work out. Uh, so we've got the Mandalorian's Razor Crest. So this uh, is based on a, a fire we got from Lucasfilm. Uh, we've adapted it uh, to be able to do injected plastic. Uh, it comes with uh, opening entry and cargo doors and a detailed cockpit with uh, Mandalorian and Grogu. The kit it will be 72nd scale, which means it's about uh, thir uh, 13 and a quarter inches long. So it's a nice, uh, beefy design. 
uh, will be a nice uh, shelf sitter in everyone's collections. So that's about it. Uh, we, we've kind of set up a little uh, mock-up showing a dif the difference between the studio scale uh, size uh, TIE fighter next to it, which is the studio scale is 124 scale and then a smaller 132nd scale. And we're just looking for feedback. We've gotten lots of requests for studio scale fighter models, and I just want everyone to under understand what they're getting into when it comes to the size of those kinds of kits uh, and to think through uh, how or where you're going to display them. Uh, I think the, the 32nd scale is a bit more manageable as being able to uh, display you know, display it on a uh, on a shelf, a bookshelf, and then also thinking ahead to doing, you know, the, do a, tri a trio of two Tie Fighters along with maybe a future down the road uh, upgraded Darth Vader Tie Fighter in the same scale. So these are all just the kind of things we want to uh, kind of think through, get feedback on, and see kind of where you guys uh, land on that kind of uh, question. So the Razor Crest, uh, we're hoping, will be out in December, and uh, we're really going to move mountains to try and make that happen. So, uh, the, like I said, we tried to deliver a mock-up. Uh, there was just a printing error in that, and it was, wasn't was presentable. We, we couldn't show it. So here's another look at the Comlock. See if I can get it in, in camera here. Lots of people have handled it, so the uh, the belt clip is a little bit loose. And that's a, a look in the viewfinder, and then the microphone speaker. And these were rigged up with uh, with lights, and it's got, we've got a short in the uh, in the switch, which it's not not functioning at the moment, but it gives you an idea. Uh, it it was both uh, the Comlock and Stun Gun have been developed for lighting, so uh, we we've uh, kind of thought some things through for you to be able to access batteries and things like that. Uh, we will not be uh, offering a light kit, but we know that uh, someone out there in the aftermarket probably will. Uh, question, will the Turbo Terrific be released? Yes, they'll be coming uh, in 2022. <laughs> trying to reset the audio button so uh someone's asking about the uh, razor crest being offered by Ravel. uh i've seen rumors of that i don't know how valid those rumors are um i i i need to look into it some more to be honest i had heard rumors of that earlier on and found them to be unfounded so uh we'll see what happens so uh i guess that's it uh, thanks for sticking with us through a few uh, technical difficulties. We got a little bit of a late start later than I'd hoped. Uh, but uh, just wanted to do our part to kind of share uh, the WonderFX experience and our display with everyone that wasn't able to make it this year. And uh, just uh, wanted to offer that to you guys. Um, any other 1350 kits in the future? Possibly. Uh, one of the most requested ships is still the USS Reliant in 350 scale. And uh, basically, we're looking for reliable data on that uh, measurements uh, that we need that to get going, to get it going. 
And uh, we have made a few connections here at the show. I talked to Darren Docterman, and uh, he might have some some contacts or some information. And uh, Rick Sternbach is also here, and also offered to put some feelers out for us. So uh, we will we'll pursue it, and as time goes by, we'll see if we can get there. Uh, let's see, is it a shuttle interior for the Galileo shuttle uh, that will probably also come in 2022, and we'll be offering it both as a is a uh, accessory pack for anyone that already owns the kit and then uh, we'll do a combo of the exterior and interior so you get the complete galileo all in one box so that will be coming in 2022 as well um let's see i see the request there for one 600 tos and refit enterprise kits uh we'd like to see some next generation 132 uh, I've talked to a couple of people about the possibility of doing maybe a smaller line of shuttles. So you get maybe a wider variety all on the same scale and uh, whatever scale that might be, uh, we'll see. But uh, something to consider for sure. So um, I think we're going to wrap this up. Uh, people are, like I said, have been uh, kind of shutting down here and uh, we'll probably start that process pretty soon. Wonderfest is a great show to come to every year uh, just to come and interact with our modeling audience. And uh, I'd encourage anyone that's uh, never been to try and make the show sometime. Uh, excellent work in the model contest as usual. And uh, this is uh, our pleasure to come out every year and see you guys and uh, kind of lay everything out and get the feedback uh, you know, directly from our consumers. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave questions in the comments after the show. Uh, I'll do my best to come back and answer them for you. And with that, we'll log off. So long from Wonderfest, guys.